Okay, so you're going to be using this website to find out the top 10 countries currently in terms of population, as well as the top 10 fastest growing countries in terms of population. Now, when you go to this website, you may start on a page that looks like this. What you're going to want to do is you're going to go over here to where it says data and a drop down menu will come up and you'll see world population data sheet, US indicators and international data. You're going to want to click on international data. When you click on that this is where it will take you and you can see there's a little bit of uh, description about what the world population data will talk about and it takes a look at some of what they call featured indicators those are not really what we're worrying about today you're going to go to this menu right here where it says indicators and we're going to start with population mid 2020 all right so it's an estimate of what the population was at the middle of 2020 and if you scroll down after you clicked on that you'll see that it has created a choropleth map showing the different populations of the world based on different colors right here's our key dark blue is over 1.4 billion people right and you can see it goes down from there the lighter it gets the smaller the population all right and then you just want to hover over the countries, right? And you can see the individual population. And you can see that number they have there. That's in millions of people, right? So, for example, the United States, 329.9 million people, right? So that's to find top 10 countries. And then you just go back up here and you search for what we're looking for and now to find fastest growing countries you're going to look for rate of natural increase and again if you scroll down you see a new choropleth map measuring how fast the population is growing and you can see that it is very different than the previous map so this is what you'll be doing for this activity today and you might be using this website again in the future. And at that time, we will let you know. So make sure you ask your teachers any questions if you have them. And make sure you get this assignment done by the next class.